Okay, this is part two because my camera just randomly died. Um, as I was saying, um, Maxis is in a wheelchair, what I think at least. You gotta listen to this too. Maxis is evil. Stand up. Stand up! Good. Look at me. Over here! Good. Now walk forward. Well, basically, he was trying to control the zombies, basically, and I think he ends up just shooting the zombie. Um, that's not too evil, but you, you get the point. He just randomly kind of just starts taking over zombies. Um, you look up the true storyline for that part. It, it's this whole thing with Kino, and I'm not going to go into it. I'm, I'm just giving you the basic thing. He's brainwashing zombies and trying to use them as superhumans. Um, and it, it's just this whole mess, and it, it's a failure. Um, we'll go into the teleporters now. Um, I forgot whose it was. I, I'm not going to post it, but... I don't like reposting videos, that's not very fair for the person that originally made it. Um, I'll probably post who made that awesome video, they explain everything perfectly. Um, I think there was one part in it I did not like at all, um, in it, the theory for it, but they're all theories, it's, I don't, you know. You're not gonna agree on the whole thing. And plus, I, I don't... The, in the ending, Richtoff and, and Samantha, like, switch bodies. I hated that ending, and... He turns into Samantha, and he ends up, like, blowing up or something. Or some horrible thing happens to Richtoff, and... And I, I don't like that ending. Um, I think Treyarch sucked for doing that part. There has to be, like, a part two to that. I, I mean, on Moon, that, that's not fair. Um, I'm gonna show you part of the Easter egg on this. If you don't know it yet. I'm playing the Black Ops version that does work for World at War 2. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna keep moving on. Get the box, get the box. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think I died last time, like, before I even got here. So, it's kind of cool that I can actually get... Oh, wow. One, two... Yeah, that's a way to get a lot of, um... Kills. If you're running out of... Oh, God. I'm not paying attention. Not paying attention. Holy crap. Okay. I was looking at the camera and drifting off for, like, a millisecond. Um, I had to do that. I don't know what I was doing. Um, yeah, you want to shoot a knife a lot. Um, holy crud, that, I just wasted a monkey, but, whoo, I, like, almost died there. How did I survive that? Shit! I am empty. Oh god, I am empty. <laughs> um, oh yeah, there's an easy way to get points. I'll show you that in just a second, too. Um, let's get some ammo. You can get them off of all the perks. Except Mule Kick. This works in World at War 2. I thought it was a glitch for a while, but I guess, holy crud, that it's an Easter egg. You go... And you can either dolphin dive, and it gives you like 25 points, which is not possible. Think about it. Um, 
Or you can just duck. Um, it only works on Dury's. Um, see, so yeah, I, I just keep gaining money. It makes that cha-ching sound. Um, see, so yeah, I have 75 points. I have 555 five, five points. Or not 75 points. Yeah, I did have 75. But whatever. Um, you get the point. But back to the story. Um, these are all off of speculation. The, the, this is all. There is no true storyline. I keep saying that. Um, everybody keeps arguing. Oh, I, I noticed this when I was playing World at War once. That it says help up there. Um, how I noticed that, somebody had a mod, of course, like they always would, and of course they gave no clip to everybody, so it was kind of a little bit annoying, when you couldn't do anything but fly, and nothing could kill you, he, he also gave god mode, but, um, I tried to explore as much of the map as possible, it was a little bit of cool, like, you know, it was a little bit cool, and then he gave us... I didn't get any mods. Trust me, I don't like Shit, mods. They're cool and all, but I, I wouldn't want one. I'm not that kind of guy. Um, but I did stay as long as I could. That That's something I, I did want to do. Just to explore as much as I could. He got out on, like, round 12, and he was the host, so the game ended. Um... But it was really cool. In the beginning, you could, like, jump all over the place. I don't know. I kind of miss those modded games, but, you know, think about it a little bit. It's not that fun. Those are some fun times. Before my World at War pretty much clunked out. Um, it, it didn't... I mean, I could still use it. It just has this chip in it. Not like a chip, like a computer chip, but like a piece of it, like chipped off, like the fell off of the disc. Um, well, back to the story, off, getting off track. Um, Samantha had a puppy named Fluffy, I think it was. Was it? Oh, I should have showed that radio. I'll go over there. I'll probably end up killing myself. I do have monkey, so I'm okay. Um, I'll stay as long as I can over there, so you can hear this radio. Um, she turns into the dogs on round five. Well, oh yeah, you didn't see it, or hear it, but, oh god, goodbye, yep, goodbye, well, pretty much, Fluffy has puppies, and he throws the freaking dog in a teleporter, is Maxis crazy? Um, what was he thinking? I'm sorry, I, I know it's a game, but like, why would you put that in the game? I mean, no, <clears throat> voice cracking, sorry. Um, <laughs> nobody in their right mind would freaking throw a pregnant the puppy, okay, in a teleporter. Think, think about how cruel this is, first of all. Which I know he has no heart in the storyline, but, you know, I'm just saying, throws a freaking puppy. Pregnant. Okay. And he said puppies. So it's probably going to have like, you know, quad quadruplets, okay? Now think about how effed up these dogs are going to be. If you've watched The Fly, which, gotta watch The Fly, I mean. But, if you know what I'm talking about, when he throws the monkey in the teleporter, that's, um, imagine that with dogs. Pregnant, a pregnant dog. Yeah. 
That that's kind of like just disgusting. Um, that could have happened, which I know he never watched that before because this is during the 40s. Um, but you you get the point. Um, wow. What else? Oh, I gotta show you something that I'll try and get there as fast as possible. Um, there's something I'm wondering if it's an Easter egg everybody has. Um, well, I don't know if everybody has, but me and my friends, I, I know it couldn't have been, we would have already found it, us Call of Duty YouTube community, or Call of Duty community in, in general would have found it. Um, but the problem is, I don't know, it, it just looks so suspicious, this one area. Like, it looks like the door could just open up. Um, trust me, when I used no clip, I, I scoped it out as much as I could. Uh, I think I'll just use a crawler, and I'll go this way this time. Uh, to the left of us. Um... I'm a little bit sick. I'm always sick. God. Um. Well. Yeah, storyline's a little bit messed up. Look it up. If you're on YouTube, you can, I'm sure, go on to anything else. Um. If you're. I, I'm not gonna go into anything because. Re uh, remember that one video I just kept going on and on? about if you couldn't read or something and I'm like if you can't read then get somebody to read if you can't get somebody to read then go to the library if you're a hermit re remember that video I'm, I'm sure it's one of my magic videos if you don't watch those then um you're missing out um well I'm gonna go this way it's over there, um, what I'm talking about. It's this little area, uh, plus there's a garage over there. I'll, I'll just show you when I, <clears throat> when I open a couple of more doors. It's very suspicious. Oh, I love this. Look, the, the zombie sign. Um, I'm gonna die if I don't stop messing around. But I noticed that recently. That's an ascension, too. Uh, that zombie sign that's like warning zombies. Um, <laughs> that's like, I don't know. I'm probably the first one that noticed that. If I wasn't, then cool. I just noticed that now, though. So, or not now, but I noticed it that one time I was playing Ascension. Um, yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah, on zombies. Um, well, let me explain this. I'll show you what I mean by this is so... Well, World at War, there's... I don't know, no. I'm just, I forgot the part. There's a garage that says help. There's another part by the power that says help that looks like a suspicious area. I know... Nothing's gonna open up and give you free-handed, you know, Wonder Waffle DG4, okay? Nothing's going to do that for you, but it looks very suspicious, like it could be something very possible. Uh, <coughs> um, sorry. Yeah, and if you know the, um, if you have World at War and have the... I think it's the map pack with, um, what's it called, uh, Shino Numa, then you have, uh, maybe it's even the Jerez one, maybe it's the Varuk one, I'm not even sure, but this map is actually a multiplayer map, so I, I explored that a lot, I think I will do a video if my game isn't, well, that broke in. Holy crud. Gotta buy a Thompson. Gotta buy a Thompson. Oh god. I'm gonna get screwed. 
Yeah, don't do what I just did. Yeah, you're gonna get trapped. I just did. Um, this might be actually good. Um, you know, I, I was looking around once on World at War with my friends. I sadly I don't have that recorded. It was a really fun game, but I'll I'll show you this. There's a couple of areas I really find suspicious. Um. On World at War, that says help. It doesn't say code 935 or whatever. That's the... That's the zombie people that... Like, own Ascension. The people that are the masterminds of this whole thing. Really, just look up the storyline. I'm not gonna give you the full thing. Wait, I, um, I wanted to tell about something. I just got some more money. Um, I want to say that... Um... Oh. Ascension, the zombies well, wait, wait, are wait, wait, wait. Hard. Let, let me explain. So, on, um, uh, okay, then, that kind of takes out this whole thing. I, I forgot about this, but, um, World at War. I, I'm really relating the World at War a lot. Um, that's a garage. Another one. And it says help across it. Um, or the hell... But it it looks like help. Um, you know the the weird. You know what I'm talking about. The blood smeared. This thing. That kind of help. Well, no, that that doesn't. They they had one thing. I think it's on the first map. It says help, and that's what the thing is. But. I'm gonna stay up here because I have to show you this next part, which I think is one of the most weirdest easter egg parts in Call of Duty. Um, watch the video just cut out right here. Um, well, two things. This could really be, wait, let me get this, okay. Look at that. Doesn't that look like you could get out Soviet here? Um, I know there's the gate here, there's the gate up down there. Um, I think that was a real road. If you look over there, holy crud, that's scary. What? Did you see that zombie just come out of there? That freaking come out of there. scared me. But there's a radio right here. Yes, there is a radio right down there. I, I'm gonna try and get it in a little bit. Hopefully, I don't die. Wait, I can get it. Come on. Well, I don't know. It's in World at War 2. Uh, World at War number 2. Uh, no. Oh, God. Well, I don't think I can get it, but it sounds like Varukt again. Um, if you remember the Shino Numa. Yep, I keep dying, but. I really suck at this map. Yes, we'll play Colin. Could you record it? Yeah, I'll, we'll think about recording it. Well, you go in there and it sounds like All Out War again. Just like Shino Numa, that one gameplay that like went on for like three hours. Um, that was really good gameplay. And I don't know if I'm posting that. I'm, I'm not gonna keep doing this, but you get the point. It, it was like... You go in there, and you go for yourself, I might have an audio clip or something I'll add to the video. I don't know. I'll try and find it. Um, but I did go in there, and it's like all-out war. And it sounds like different characters. It doesn't sound like the Marines, and it does not sound like, um, what should we call it? It doesn't sound like the Marines or the normal characters, you know, it it's so weird. It, if you don't have Call of Duty, you don't know what I'm talking about. If you have zombies in Call of Duty, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about completely. Um, <coughs> or if you have World at War, you know what I'm talking about. Well, see you later, and bye.